hi friends last video we end up with up to weak formation or variational formation in this video we start with basis function of final method we are basically we are taking the linear basis function only okay we proceed so first we we are defining our domain x i x naught to x n so between x1 x2 x3 here the these are the elements e1 e2 e3 and so on that the, all x i's are nodes first we define phi naught of x phi naught of x is x1 minus x divided by x1 minus x whenever x lies between x naught to x1 so outside of this interval the function value become zero so our phi naught is this is my phi naught so my phi naught is this is my phi naught next is so you clearly you understand the support of the phi naught is x naught to x1 second is phi i of x suppose phi 1 of x so x minus x i minus 1 divided by x i minus x i minus 1 whenever x lies between x i minus 1 to x i so x zero to x1 is the function value become this is your phi naught so this is your phi 1 so your phi this is your phi 1 next similarly you phi 2 is nothing but this is your your this is your phi 2 Similarly, you go with the phi 3, everything, okay. So, but final step is, final end is, this guy only, your phi n. So, these are the basis function we are defining here. Now, I my aim is, I want to write the function in terms of phi. So, we define the function y equal to, this is my solution, summation, i equal to 1 to n alpha i times times phi i this is my so these are all phi i's are we define these are the basis function we define so here unknown is only alpha i so we want to find the each domain so now i will write it as our weak formation so our weak formation we already see this is my our weak formation this we known as the weak formation or variational formation so weak formation we take it as we take v equal to phi j of so we take the assembly, we are taking the phi j of x, then our guy become i equal to, sorry, we take the j, okay, i equal to 1 to n alpha j of e, x e minus 1 to x e phi i oh, prime of j sorry here we will i will start with i only times phi j prime of x dx equal to integral over x e minus 1 to x e f times phi j of x plus phi j of phi of x e times minus time d will come 30 so i will take is some d2 of e okay plus phi j of x e minus 1 times d1 so we are simply we are taking the d1 first part is d2 second one is d1 that's it so this guy is known as uh, this guy is known as our stiff function we can directly return 
kij tan alpha j equal to f i here k is known as stiffness matrix the this alpha is our maver unknown these are the force vectors so defined by such a right hand side what we are taking so now we define we already know that phi i of x j equal to 0 whenever i is not equal to j 1 i equal to j and another thing it has a support is so phi i has the support support at x i minus 1 to x i plus 1. So remaining is always function values always become 0. That is our key point we want to always note at that. Suppose I want to find k11. k11 means what will come? We will get it x e minus 1 to x e phi 1 prime of x phi 1 prime of x dx correct but what is the problem is if you are then again we will take the summation over will be there but this this has a support at exactly this is equal to summation i equal to 1 to n we are taking this guy become x i not to x1 only vary because phi 1 has supported exactly x not to x1 only. So, with this guy become minus 1 over x1 minus x0 minus 1 over x1 minus x0 times dx. So, these are the multiplication not the additional terms. Okay, that is why I put it as to avoid confusion we make the product. So, this guy become 1 over x1 minus x0 we got this result. So, k11 one one is 1 over x1 one minus x0. Similarly, we can find this k12. Here, what is the disadvantage? What is the problem is we are taking xe minus 1 to xe phi 1 of x times phi 2 of x. So, this is also we will get it as phi 1 is we, we have the problem is x1, x0 to x1 only this has a support remain where the function is always become 0. So, this is also you will get it as sorry prime I missed it ok. So, x0 to x1 minus 1 over x1 minus x0 times 1 over x1 minus x0. So, this guys become minus 1 over x1 minus x0. We will get it correct. This is our k12. 1 over x1 minus x0. This is k 1 1 1 2. Next step I want to define what is k 2 1 that is k 1 2 and k 2 1 2 and k 1 we know that k 1 2 equal to k 2 1 are always same. So, what about k 2 2 we can easily find the similar manner k 2 2 is 1 over x 2 x2 minus x1 we get it. So, please evolve from your side. So, this way we can define. So, next step next video how to assemble the all the matrix we can see.